All right, guys, welcome back to today's video for Farmer Scoobs. It's just a short and sweet one. We have a couple of bits and pieces happening here. But one thing I wanted to touch base on was our new decals. Decals from Colchi Designs. Colchi decals, that's back to front. I'm looking at that on the screen now. I'm well, going to flip it around. they done just a nice little Farmer Scoobs. I know it's going to be back to front, but that's just the way the camera is. But Farmer Scoobs on that, on the quad bike, and the same on our little Zetter Major tractor. We got a nice little one. And I actually quite like this one because uh, it's, it has the green with just the little red YouTube logo, so it looks nice. But I think I'd rather these ones going forward in the future. I think they're just nice and handy, nice and, and uh, neat and tidy. Gets to the point, Farmer Scoobs on YouTube. And uh, Colchi decals, fair play to her now. She done me up a couple more bits and bobs for it. I'll stick it in here so that she can see it. Um, lovely little fridge magnet as well. It's on the, the fridge at home. Kids love it. And also she sent me on a nice little touch of a uh, baby farmer on board with, I suppose, farmer mini scoops arriving. So it's for the little back of the, the back of the wife's car. So we stuck it on that one. And uh, fair play to her now for doing that. And there was just a couple of other little bits of stickers as well, like the little Farmer Scoobs ones. We've just stuck them here, there and everywhere. So uh, going forward in the future, if you happen to spot Farmer Scoob sticker, um, you'll know where it came from. But we will be getting a few more done up because a couple of people have been asking for them. So I will be getting a couple done up and I'm not going to charge anything for them. If I have them and people ask for them, I'll just give them to them for free because it's just nice to help grow the channel. So Farmer Scoobs, um, fair play to Culture Decals. Much appreciated. So we're just here in the yard, and this was a job that I had been asked or had been looking to do. I hadn't asked anyone to do it, but it was a job that I had been looking to do for quite some time. In all the, I suppose, tractors that that are being sold nowadays, should have some form of um, fire extinguisher in them. Now I had noticed. I think it was on TikTok, um, maybe last week. There was a company called Fire Stick, and it literally is just a stick, and you get an igniter. You pull the top off, you hit it with the igniter, and it's just like a, a fire extinguisher, and it just you point it at the fire, and it's supposed to extinguish it because it foams out. Um, all good and well, but for the price of them, this cost 25 quid, and I think I got a fire blanket with it as well. The fire blanket's in the shed. On the last tractor, we had it mounted sort of here as you were getting up into it, so this is where I'm going to mount the new one if it manages to stay there. Um, don't know if them panels are strong enough to hold a fire extinguisher, but we, we shall... We shall give it a go, and if it doesn't, we may not actually put it there because that's in what our fuse box is. We may not do that. We may just leave that one alone. We may find somewhere else for it. I think there's a little spot maybe behind the seat that um, we could uh, we could stick it on because I've been meaning to put it on since it came, and every tractor should have a fire extinguisher on it. I know I do have one left in the small tractor, and we had one stuck on the front of the baler. I'm gonna stand in here for a minute. We had one stuck on the front of the baler, but that was pulled off the baler for another reason. I'm not gonna get into it, but that was pulled off the baler, so I have to replace the one on that one. And um, yeah, everything should sort of have a fire extinguisher close to hand. Definitely in each tractor anyway, there should be a fire extinguisher, because Lord knows you'll never know when you'll come across one. So I'm just going to have a look back here in the back of this one. I'm gonna climb up into it now and I'm gonna give you a look and see where we're gonna stick it. So just in the cab of this tractor, we have a little pocket back here and it's quite a neat little pocket. I'm not entirely sure what it's meant to be used for, but the last day I had actually a bottle of Luke Sid stuck in it. But I'm actually gonna see if the fire extinguisher will just happily slap down into this little area here. And if it does, it saves me having to drill any holes or look for another spot inside the cab for it. So we're just going to give it a go and just see if it fit. On these little extinguishers there's a little lock or latch here on the front and just pops off and that just releases it out of the holder so oh like a charm like a charm perfect spot for it easy to get to drops down into it and it's not going to come out of it so that's handy well chuffed with that now it saves me having to so just on further investigation i decided that we might just chance putting the holder for the fire extinguisher down into the groove as well the actual thing actually fits in perfect and it actually keeps the fire extinguisher the 
pole panel, the whole thing moves. So it actually is a much better fixed fixed job. Let's just hope we never need it and we have to go at it in a hurry because it might be just a bit of a flitter to get it out. I don't think it will be. I think it's just a matter of cracking the cracking the band off and it should just lift clean up out of it. But even if the bracket does come with it, it doesn't really matter. As long as the fire extinguisher comes out when you need it, it's thumbs up. But hopefully touch wood that we shall never need the use of a fire extinguisher because if you have to pull out a fire extinguisher it's probably already too late so move on we're heading out to the field abroad it's going to start raining here now we're going to move in cattle unfortunately it's raining there's not much we can do about it there is a wind kicking up so i don't know if i'm going to get much on video today but we are going to crack on ahead anyway and i'll try and get as much of it on camera as i can but we'll catch you in a few So now we're out here at the cows and as you can see since they've come out here they're here now just a day over two weeks they have this place absolutely skinned and as you can see it's beginning to get a wee bit poached now here around the gate because they're constantly coming to here when they hear someone coming so my main thing is now is just to go and let them out let them in here and hopefully they might knock a week out of this out of this field i'm hoping that is our drinking glass over there they're actually that's going to get poached up naturally enough it's going to get poached up around where the drinking troughs is but especially where they're standing here in the space of two days we've had a lot of, a lot of heavy rain here and that is the main reason that this has happened so we're going to let them out rather than leaving them standing here for too much longer they already know what's happening now because gauging the i suppose what we've left on grass wise we've probably about a month to six weeks of grass left in front of them and after that they're going to be heading for the house either way so that's basically what i'm trying to to manage as best can is getting the last bit out of the grass i can but i don't want them to be doing this here inside the gate as that just means it's repairing for next year because we won't get it it's, it's not that it's going to get repaired this year it's definitely not going to get repaired this year because it's getting wet this field is always once the rain starts to come there's nothing we can do about it it just gets wet and, and we're back to uh we're back to be not being able to do anything with it i can even see they're not even going to give me a chance to get out of the way And it's always nice to see cows coming out into a fresh paddock full of grass. It's what farming is all about. It gets to this point eventually, but when you can see it like that, it's also nice. Without without this grey sky up here, if that was nice and sunny, it would be good. Well, we just have to take the good with the bad. So I'm hoping this will last them a week. Uh, I, re I really do need it for them to last a week because that's how I'm managing it now. Down at home we have the next paddock to this one. I'm unsure if we're going to graze it or not. There's silage bales in it. Now we can fence around the silage bales, which is no problem. Um, we can put up a temporary electric fence, which is fine. We've done it before. We can do it again. But I'm just worried that they will tramp it too bad. And if they tramp it too bad, because that is a wet field when it gets wet. If they tramp it too bad, well then it's... It means it, there's a lot of work to go back into it to fix it. So um, we're half half debating not putting them into it. And then we have our two fields at the side of the house. And then we have in front of the house. And then we have the, the two paddocks at the back of the house. That gets awful wet very quickly also. So we might be looking at maybe grazing those before we graze anything else. Maybe before when they come back down to the house. Because if we can graze those before it gets too wet at least. We'll have gotten the benefit out of it. And it'll... Um, It'll be done with then for this year. I'm just going to take a look here, see how bad this is. It's not great. Definitely not happen. I'm just checking the feeder that the feeder is absolutely gleaming. But we have our meal is coming for delivery tomorrow. So we'll be back with the meal feed now. We have a ton of uh, Wayland Crunch coming tomorrow. 
because a Revo has the deal on now. You buy 10 bags, you get one free, or 15 euro off when you buy a ton. So we've just gone and just bought um, 40 bags, ton, ton of meal. So you get 40 bags, you get four bags free. Um, I suppose just whatever bit of saving, savings we can get, we will take. But anyways, guys, we're going to leave it at that for this part of the video, and I'll catch you in a bit.